Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and in today's video, you're going to learn all about color correction gels. This video is the first in a two-part series on lighting gels. Today, you're gonna to learn about color correction gels and in the next video, you'll learn about diffusion, ND and effects gels. In these two videos, we're going to be going through the master location pack from Lee Filters. Now, Lee Filters is one of the two leading manufacturers of lighting gels, along with Roscoe Filters, and they've put together this fantastic all-in-one kit to help you get started with your lighting gel collection. Now, the one downside to this for me is the size. I find that the sheets of gel in this are just slightly too small. They're okay for small lights or up to about a you know one by one LED panel, but anything with barn doors, you really have to close down those barn doors to fit these gels correctly. So anything larger than that, you might want to look at their larger individual sheets of lighting gel. But the collection has so many gels in it, they have 24 different types of gels in this one pack, and it's very affordable, coming in I think at just over $50. So it's a great starting place. I'm gonna put a link for this kit down in the description, and this video is in no way sponsored or endorsed by Lee Filters. I just think this is a really useful kit that they've put together. So if you're brand new to lighting, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what is a lighting gel and why do I need it? One way to think of it is as a really expensive piece of cellophane. It's basically a thin sheet of plastic that is also heat resistant, usually made of polycarbonate or polyester. Gels can be used to change the color of light stylistically, as well as be used for color correction to move a light's color temperature up or down the Kelvin scale, as well as along the green or magenta axis. If you're unfamiliar with the Kelvin scale, then I suggest going and checking out this video right here. The two most common types of color correction gels are called CTO, or color temperature orange, and CTB, or color temperature blue. Let's start with CTB gels. If you're working with tungsten halogen lights that have a base color temperature of 3000, 200 Kelvin, making them quite a warm light source, and you'd like to match them with natural daylight or other cooler light sources such as LEDs and HMIs, that's where CTB comes into play. Depending on the grade you use, CTB can shift your tungsten lights from 3200 Kelvin all the way up to 5600 Kelvin or even further. This conversion is called a mired shift. There are four different grades of CTB included in the kit, ranging from full CTB down to one quarter strength. And each of those will cut a certain amount of output from your light, so that's worth factoring in as well. Now, for these light loss measurements that I'll be giving you, where possible, I've included the manufacturer's lab tested measurements, but for the gels where I couldn't find the information on how many stops of light were cut by each gel, I've taken my own measurements with a Siconic L758 Cine light meter. But I think that my light meter might be needing to be calibrated slightly as I found that some gels were measuring bang on the manufacturer's spec and others were off by up to about a third of a stop. So there might be a little bit of variance. So please bear that in mind. And I'm also going to have a downloadable with all of the information that I'll be taking you through today. So you can keep that as a handy reference. So check the link in the description to download that one. First, let's take a look at our setup for our practical gel examples. For today's live examples of each gel, I've used an ARRI 650 Plus tungsten light to showcase our CTB gels. Now, I've started this out with some scrims to help just cut down the amount of output so it can match my other light source, which is a one by one LED light panel. And this panel I'll be using to showcase the CTO gels. I've shot these samples with my camera's white balance set to both 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin so that you can see the effect that each gel has at both white balance settings. First off, let's have a look at a reference shot with no gels applied. Now, let's have a look at each gel individually. Let's start out with Lee 201, or full CTB. This gel will convert a 3200 Kelvin tungsten light to 5,600 Kelvin daylight. This gel has a one and two thirds of a stop light reduction. This is the gel to use if you want to match your tungsten light to natural sunlight or another daylight balance light fixture. 
The next gel is Lee 202, or half CTB. This gel is half the strength of full CTB and will convert a tungsten light to 4,300 Kelvin, which is the approximate color temperature of most common fluorescent lights. This gel comes with a one-stop light reduction. Next is Lee 203, or one quarter CTB. This gel will shift your tungsten light to 3,600 Kelvin, a fairly subtle shift, and has a light reduction of two thirds of a stop. One other CTB gel that's worth noting but isn't included in the pack is Lee 218, or your one eighth CTB. This will convert tungsten lights to 3,400 Kelvin for a very, very subtle effect and has a one third of a stop light reduction. Next, we have Lee 200 or double CTB. And this gel is double the strength of full CTB, converting a tungsten light to 26,000 Kelvin for a two stop light reduction. Another CTB that is included in the kit is Lee 224, or Daylight Blue Frost. This gel combines a Lee 201 full CTB with a frost diffusion layer, all in one gel. This gel has a light reduction of two and a quarter stops. One thing I noticed about this gel is compared to full CTB, it has a noticeable tint towards red. We'll be talking about diffusion gels in the next video, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that one when it comes out. Well, that's it for CTB gels. Now let's have a look at CTO gels or color temperature orange. These gels are designed to take your daylight balance light fixtures, such as LEDs and HMIs, and warm them up to match indoor tungsten sources. I'm not entirely sure why Lee Filters decided to use 6,500 Kelvin as its base daylight balance, rather than the slightly more commonly used 5,600 Kelvin, but if you do know the answer, please let me know down in the comments below. If you're after that perfect daylight to tungsten conversion from 5,600 to 3,200 Kelvin, then the gel to look out for is Lee 626 7 8 Digital LED CTO Gel, which is not included in the pack. First, let's have a look at a reference shot with our daylight LED panel and no gels applied. There are three grades of CTO included in the pack. Let's start with Lee 204, or full CTO. This gel will convert 6,500 Kelvin to 3,200 Kelvin and has a one-stop light reduction. Notice how full CTO is slightly warmer than the neutral reference shot we saw before. The next gel is Lee 205, or one half CTO. This gel converts 6,500 Kelvin to 3,800 Kelvin and has a two thirds of a stop light reduction. Finally, we have Lee 206, or one quarter CTO. And this gel converts 6,500 Kelvin to 4,600 Kelvin for a one third of a stop light reduction. Again, we have one more gel that's not included in the pack, but is worth noting here. And that is Lee 223 or 1 8th CTO. This gel converts 6,500 Kelvin to 5,550 Kelvin for a one third of a stop light loss. So that's it for our CTB and CTO color correction gels. Now let's have a look at some correction gels that move the light source along the green and magenta axis. Let's start with Lee 219 or fluorescent green. This gel is designed to be used on tungsten light sources to match fluoro lights where you don't know the exact color temperature. This offers a medium level of correction. This gel has a one and a half stop light reduction. Next is Lee 244 plus green. This gel is designed to add a green cast, which helps match tungsten or daylight fixtures to discharge light sources. This includes light sources such as high pressure sodium lights, which are commonly used in street lamps, mercury vapor lights, which are commonly used in warehouses and industrial settings, or metal halide sources, which are commonly used in sports fields and some street lamps. This gel comes with a one half of a stop of light reduction. 
Also included is Li 245 or Half Plus Green, which offers half the green cast strength of the previous gel for a one third of a stop light reduction. So there you have it. That is my introduction to the color correction gels included in the Lee Master Location Pack. Keep an eye out for the next video where I'll be talking about diffusion, ND and effects gels. Also, don't forget to check the link down in the description where I've put together a free downloadable with all of these different numbers and values for you to keep as an easy to follow reference guide. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.